Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's post work. I got a video posted. It's seven o'clock at night. No dinner yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> While I'm sitting in the den, the one thing that's jumped out at me, because uh, when you have a YouTube channel and you have this app for creators on your phone, you kind of get um, notifications when you're getting messages, um, you know, comment-wise and everything. Sometimes it's hard to keep up because the comments rise so quick and you only get like two or three a page. Um, but one that gets comments, it's like all the time lately, is this video um, that we put up in October called Getting Scared in All the Scare Zones and Halloween Horror Nights. Um, and it was for Halloween Horror Nights 25. Um, but something is happening, you know, and I can't determine what exactly is happening, but the video is almost at like 500,000 views. It's like 470,000 at this point. And if I look at the uh, real-time analytics for the video, it's literally getting like, in the last two days, it had another 24,000 views. It's just constant. And I don't know what's driving everybody to want to watch that particular video. Um, and from what I can tell, it doesn't seem like it's really linked anywhere that folks are wanting to view it, but I'm happy that folks are viewing it. Um, the other video that we had from Halloween Horror Nights, um, ironically, the scare zone from the year before, it's um, somewhere in like the 370,000 views and something similar like that happened a while back, but people watch that video and they watch this other scare zone video but it's just like non-stop lately. So if you're here because you watched the, any, either of those two videos, thank you for checking us out and for sticking with us and checking out the other content. We will have a lot more Halloween Horror Nights content. Now a couple folks asked um, because we ran like this 5K the other day. It was a very small race. Um, it was for Jesse's school. Um, it was like a charity type thing, a color run or a fun run. There wasn't a whole lot of people that showed up to run it. It was their uh, inaugural race. Um, and, you know, basically it was just a charity thing to get money to one of the programs in the school. But we did it. Here's some of the highlights or lowlights or whatever you might think about it. Um, and this was on, I think, like four hours sleep from the night before. So we had some fun. Here it is. Hey, happy Saturday morning, everybody. We're at Jesse's school um, with Dwight Schrute. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Yeah. As we're doing a color run for her school. Yep. It's just the way I wanted to start my weekend <laughs> after going to bed five hours ago are you ready to run sure yeah it's a big crowd here today we might be pushing 50. <laughs> probably do you think you'll be able to work your way through the crowd i don't know it might be a little too congested in some parts but mm -hmm. i'll see what i can do i like the terrain that we'll be running on prime grass i think we're running some on mud some mud, some grass, some track. <laughs> like it's a warrior dash. Kids are running ahead. I guess they didn't have a couple of beers last night. <laughs> or a bacon cheeseburger at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. We have our lone cheerleader over here. <laughs> By the way, the schools here have future farmers, so goats. I know. I know. We got a little bit of color. Okay. Mary looks tie-dye from food coloring. Yeah. It's a disposable shirt now. Oh, that's I feel it. like we're making up our own course as we go along. <laughs> There's really nobody here to tell us where to go. They're playing KC. <laughs> Where's a race? Not, quite Not a many race. competed in it. Not quite a race. It was like and we lived. Welcome back. That was certainly exciting, right? Um, what I wanted to try to do also today, and hopefully we'll get to in a little bit, is we got one package in the mail in the P.O. box the other day that I scooped up, and uh, we might be able to do a very quick unboxing of Loot Crate Nerd Block for this month. Nerd Block. I always want to say Nerd Box. Sunshine! I am joined by my comfortable sidekick and her snarky smile. Somebody commented in the video recently like, can't tell if Jessie's being sarcastic with her smile or just generally unhappy. Hmm. It's sarcastic. This is what she thinks is funny. Tell us a joke. Everyone liked your joke. Like my joke. 
the uh, it, he, the guy's all right. Oh. <laughs> we need another dumb Jesse joke. This could be like an ongoing segment. Oh, dumb joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one where it's like, I drove my expensive car into a tree and I found out how my Mercedes bends. <laughs> <laughs> I love the internet. <laughs> Uh-oh, Jessie said she has more. <laughs> and this one I'm made, afraid to know. This one made mom laugh because it was said that it's not that the man couldn't juggle, it's just that he didn't have the balls to do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a PG warning on that joke. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hard you, PG I show. I can tell you more. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't yes. they play poker in the jungle? Why? There's too many cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually funny. Is there more now? There is, but I'm good. That's all we have for today. So, you know what we need? Um, I love getting mail lately. I love, like, instead of... All we get in the actual mail is, um, like, house mail is um, junk mail at this point because we get all of our bills electronically, so... We go to the mailbox all the time, and the only thing that keeps coming is Nerd Block and Loot Crate, no matter how many times we try to cancel it. But we did get a package in the P.O. Box. Dun, 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 dun. We need a mail song. Like, Casey Neistat's got that really awesome... Uh, Beastie Boys um, song. Yeah, I'm obsessed with Casey. Open it. It should be good to open. It's a paper bag. Yeah, we got a paper bag. That's for when the Buccaneers are playing. That's for when I want to be Shia LaBeouf. Yes, yeah, so or Shia LaBeouf. Do you get it? Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. Is there a note? Yeah. I believe I know who this is. Greetings, Kyle. I hope you enjoy this addition to your Star Wars universe. I found a couple of these at local Wait a second, because I know who sent this. This is from our buddy, um, Scott, who mm -hmm. runs um, the ride portion of Men in Black in Universal. So every time that you guys see us go through uh, Men in Black and we're always like saying, like, where's Scott? So that's funny that Jesse said, welcome, to, you know, um, the universe, the Star Wars universe, mm -hmm. instead of the universe in you, because it was almost said with the same inflection. The universe in you. Start over. Let's start it from the beginning. We're gonna do it live. Greetings, Kyle. I hope you enjoy this addition to your Star Wars universe. I found a couple of these at a local garage sale and immediately thought of you. When I sent you a tweet to see if you had one, you said no. My first thought, without hesitation, was to send one to you. I'm sure it will find a good home amongst all your other Star Wars collectibles. Keep the the great work in, on your videos. I always look forward to seeing new ones. May the force be with you. Scott, Agent S. Agent S. Even also, um, different font. I'd never be able to find that video at this point, but Scott was in a video at 1.2 when he told us... Um, Did you see keep, it already? Keep moving slick. No, I didn't see the whole thing. I saw a picture that he sent us. So this is from Star Tours. I didn't have this, so thank you very much. I actually really, really, really like this figure. I really, 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 really like this figure. It's very cool. I don't have a lot of um, Star Tours stuff. I like this. Thank you very much, Scott. Oh, I'm just gonna throw the figure on the floor now. It landed on a, a towel that's not folded, so. Jesse's obsessed with this paper bag. I'm trying to show it off. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, speaking of Star Wars, before I, I completely forgot, um, I should have opened the video by telling you guys this. We bought Star Wars Celebration tickets today. So next April, um, I forgot the dates now already. I think it's the 17th or the 19th, or through the 19th. Four day tickets. We bought the regular four day tickets, um, and they were um, mega expensive for the regular tickets. So the regular tickets ran 150 bucks a piece. Um, I had considered buying VIP tickets um, because I actually did get into the system. When you logged into the system at a specific time, uh, first the system crashed for a while, and then it, when it came back up, it put you in a virtual queue to uh, be able to purchase tickets. VIP was limited to like 200 tickets or so. Um, and, but they were $700 a piece. 
So um, for the extra $550 per ticket, it basically gets you into each of the panels first and gets you a guaranteed seat and gets you an early shopping night. Um, but that is um, not worth an extra $550 times three because I certainly wasn't going to buy a ticket for me and then leave them out and tell them to go like, you know, you guys go in the, the back and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll skip the lines because that wasn't cool. So we'll be there. And not only will we be there, but stay tuned because I think uh, what we may do with, um, in, for long time viewers, you may remember, we're part of this local Florida Star Wars group. Um, we're going to try to see what we can do about trying to, um, they usually have fan tables at the celebrations. So we're going to inquire about um, potentially a fan table again. And uh, if we do, and you guys are visiting, uh, we'll be manning the table for a portion of it. So everyone that's always trying to hunt us down to find us will have a specific spot at least for that weekend, certain times. There's that smile. All right, onward to unboxing um, monthly subscription stuff that um, it's sitting mostly in a gigantic pile of stuff that we like and stuff that we don't like, but um, the stuff that we don't like, at some point we're gonna give some of that stuff away, but this is Nerdblock for May 2016. I don't know what the theme is. Don't look. Okay, first item. A stuffed marshmallow man, or plush. I hate calling these things plushy or plush. It's a stuffed animal. It's from the Monster Factory. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, that's what that is. Next item. It's in a Marvel box. Why is it warm? Because it was out in the trunk of the car. Because Iron Man is hot. <laughs> Whoa. What is, like... It's this a ceramic is, molded mug. This is the smallest mug of all time. It's six ounces. What could you drink out of this thing? A six ounce drink. <laughs> it's like full on thimble size. No. Thimbles are in thumb. So that's this. Next. Next thing is a pop figure. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. From 16 Candles. It's Long Duck Dong. Oh, that's funny. There you go. Because nothing says nerd block like Long Duck Dong from 16 Candles. It's every sci fi fan's dream come true. The next is Etch a Sketch Sticky Notes. Sticky notes ah. from Etch a Sketch. You wish this, sticky notes. You wish this was in your size. The shirt is in Mary and Jesse size. It's from Rick, Rick and Morty. Yeah. Rick and Morty. I bet. Well, that one's not too bad. I think Jesse might wear that. Oh. Is that a night shirt or a uh, a day shirt? I don't know yet. Excitement. That's nerd block. Wait. Wait. Oh, one cool thing. It's a pin. It says out of time. Out of. It's from Back to the Future. It doesn't say that it's exclusive, but it does say nerd block pin. So that's pretty cool. It's not like twenty, thirty dollars cool. I like how this is itching for sure. Yeah. I really enjoy that tiny mug. It really caps the, uh, the, f the good time feeling of that box. It's for espresso. Yep. Now I need an Iron Man espresso machine. Maybe Stark Enterprises makes it. Lastly, Loot Crate. Loot Crate. This is a super thick, big Loot Crate box. Kind of like a hat box. Which, in fact, I may use or repurpose for baseball hops while traveling. What's in the box? Don't look. What's in the box? Don't look. Hold on. Don't look. Now she's smiling. Okay. Ah. Oops. There's the 
paper. I guess what? I don't know what. Oh. We have another one. We can match the other one. It's an infinity gauntlet oven mitt. Why did my hand look so chubby? You can make the most powerful pizza in the universe. Maybe mommy will finally not burn the cookies if she uses the infinity gauntlet oven mitt. They'll be super powerful. Next item up. Wait. Wait. I want this. One eternity later. Dragon Ball Z. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. Yeah, you can. Hooray. Yeah, kind of looks like an alligator. It's a dragon. I know. We got a pin. Yay. What else? Alright, that's alright. How is that alright? It's pretty cool. Except it's, it's from Age of Ultron. So what? It's kind of like this thing was sitting around. It's a, it's a Hulk Q figure. The Hulk is cool. Obviously, these Hulk, the characters are characters, you know, no matter which movie they're from. But this is literally from a movie from two years ago, I think. When was Age of Ultron? Last year or the year before? I think it was. Two. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, Some Hulk Q figure. Quality shirt. Then we've got a men's shirt. Like for once, it's a nice shirt. It's not see-through. I don't know what it is. Um. Hold it up so I can see the design. I can tell you. It's World of Warcraft. I can show you that. That's pretty cool. World. I like that shirt. Because you used to. Uh, it's like World of Warcraft is like really tempting me to come back and play. I'm dying to see the movie. And then I found out that Captain Tom uh, plays World of Warcraft or played it. Maybe still plays it. As, as, long as, uh, as well as, I'm sorry, some of the Orlando Informer people. And now you have a magazine. And a magazine. So we got this awesome Dragon Ball Z pin, the Q figure, and the oven mitt, and the shirt. Um, both of the boxes, awful. I actually do think that this is the, the cycle month where it can cancel these because they are on like three month cycles. So um, hopefully can finally get out of um, receiving this stuff because we are swimming in some junk that either needs to go to eBay or some giveaways so those are the subscription boxes for the month tell us another joke no I'm good we need one more no. I know you have a good one stored up mm, I have it in my pun bucket pun bucket it's been on the table I made a pun bucket a pun bucket. I got a piece of paper and I was put on. They can go through all the puns if you want to. We'll have to save. <laughs> It'll be a dedicated. You think I'm kidding? It'll be a dedicated segment for another vlog. My pun bucket is over there. Yeah, jokes from the pun bucket. That's Maybe we'll do that with during quotes. the uh, the next time that we have one of those ask the view the cheap seats um, questions. Pun bucket. It's inspirational quotes too. They're in the pun bucket also? Yeah. So the pun bucket actually has more than just puns. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jesse just normally freaks out like that. What? You just have that spasm. <laughs> Alright. You know, actually, uh, one more thing. People um, commented that they really liked the video of you while you're young. Thank you. I'm not young anymore. No. 16 next month, man. 16 next month. Going on 35. I like that move. 15 on th 13 on 35. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all from the magical world of pun buckets. And inspirational quotes. Yes, and unboxings. It's Jessie, everybody. She actually smiled. Well, that is all that we've got for tonight. Tomorrow, work half day, and over to MegaCon. I apologize in advance because you guys are going to get 
crushed with Megacon coverage um, for the next four days. We'll find out like what we can do in between there or different things that we can show you guys so that it's not all repetitive too. But on that note, thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.